everyone, welcome to the next video in our Hannah Carlson um, Daydreams series. And we have this um, really interesting looking plant to do today. Let's come in. Gosh, that's fast. Sorry, I hope you didn't feel a bit seasick there. I'm supposed to zoom in slowly when I'm recording, but that seemed ultra quick. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Now I'm having a look at this plant and I'm trying to think what sort of colour should I do. And I'm thinking I might do these um, flower in a dark um, blue just because we haven't done dark blue yet on the page is one reasoning also oh excuse me also um i just think it will look good for this plant so what am i gonna grab i'm gonna grab my dark indigo um in my polychromos we've used polychromos for all this page and what i'm gonna do is just start by coloring all of the leaves in a layer of dark indigo not particularly hard not particularly light just getting a layer down just making sure i'm not putting my hand down in any glitter but trying to do the page in an order so that i don't get myself covered in glitter and anyone who's following the full video um, either following video to video or watching the compilation video which members get then uh, you want to do the right order or else you might get glittery if you're going to use glitter. Yeah, members will, um, what I do for my members is I give them lots of compilation videos. I have been making compilation videos of my series and they get them on the first day the series comes out. So they actually get a big long video with every with everyone in. So they get a bit of an early access to the, um, to the series. And uh, I've also done that with some of my archive videos so old series that I've done so that they get a little bit extra for the money that they pay to be members it's just my way of saying thank you really um, thank you for the support that you're giving me and it allows me to uh, to buy a few bits and pieces I have to say I made a very naughty um, purchase yesterday um, I'm not normally one for making purchases but I have done a bit recently I've just sharpened my dark indigo because what I want to do now is to really go into the base of each of these petals and make them darker but leave the tips a bit lighter so I need a sharp pencil so anyway um, Castle Arts had a sale as they do from time to time and I've been eyeing up a certain set of pencils they have a watercolour set of I think it's for flower designed for flowers or botanicals or something and there's 24 pencils and so it's quite it was quite a fairly cheap price and I've got a £10 voucher so I thought well, when they come down in price I'll buy that set so they said up to 75% off I was like oh that'll be off something that I don't buy like paint but I went and had a look and it wasn't the the discount off the set that I had been looking at was maybe 40% off it still wasn't as cheap as I'd hoped so I sort of moved on looked through everything I thought I'll just see what they've got and 75% was off this thing that I bought so it was it was watercolor pencils which is what I've been looking for but rather than just 24 it had 72 in a tin um, and they were reduced to about $14.99 was it less than that quite cheap and I had my £10 voucher and then I did have to pay postage but I calculated that I got them for 10p a pencil or less than 10p a pencil which is 10p is a tenth of a pound so it's like I paid less than £10 for the whole lot including postage so I made this sort of impulse buy as I say, it's not something I normally do. Now, I may not be sharing my watercolour pencil videos with you, or at least for a very long time. We did do one um, in the first page of this book, because I know this paper is good for watercolour, but um, it was just a small thing. I'm, I'm not massively confident in having a brand new set. I might show you the set. Maybe I will do a little video showing the set and trying it out and stuff, but um, I'm not you know it's not my thing I'm not confident in using them so I don't want to I don't feel qualified to teach you so what I might do is just show you 
the colours. Maybe do a picture so that you can see what colours are in the tin. And rather than it being a tutorial, it'll just be a, a showing you how they work. And then I'll go away and try and learn how to use them. So I had been using my husband's pencils. Now it's really hard for you to see because they're so dark and so little. But I put a little extra dark bit on the inside, on the very end end of the petal not the tip the other end the end nearest the plant now I'm gonna do the tips in a brighter blue now I know we started off with the dark indigo base they've all got dark indigo on but I'm going to use the light fallow blue to do the tip of each one just to make it slightly brighter and it may or may not show up very much on the video I can certainly see it with my eye on the page but yeah so I'll do a video for you trying them out now I might that video might come out before this one because uh, I don't always do them all in order but we'll see it may not um, it's uh, I get a bit confused muddled at times when I get so far ahead of myself I sometimes aren't sure which is going out when and sometimes I change my mind and swap them around things like that but uh, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll probably leave that one. If I get a new book uh, or if someone sends me something, then I tend to do a video quite quickly because I think it's nice for them to see that I've got it and uh, to see me having a look at it. But um, otherwise, I can leave that one. So, uh, but it, you know, maybe we've got two more here. So it might come in time for me to do it. Is the next one after this depends whether we've got a planner page coming up as well I know I've got a planner page to do which I need to insert in the middle of this series um, but it's a really complex one I've been procrastinating <laughs> I'm not a procrastinator but that page I haven't, I haven't really thought about how I'm going to approach it it's, uh, it's so complex I'm trying to decide whether to do a sort of cheat on it if you know what I mean where I do a sort of easy pastel background and then just silhouette everything on top or whether to actually go in and do the details I just haven't decided yet and uh, I just really wanted to get on with this page as well so I'm going to record this one first and uh, I really must do that page though or else I'll get myself in a muddle but uh, I try and stay really organised yesterday was... Ugh, a disorganised disaster, should we say. I tried hard to be organised, but it just didn't work. Right, the actual leaves, I'm thinking maybe we should go a little bit lighter, so that, because of us, it's all going to look very, very dark. Um, yeah, I know. Ooh. <laughs> I just throw my pencil on the desk. Hold on. I'm going to start with the juniper green as my darkest green. I know this is quite dark and I say I'm going to go lighter. It will get lighter. This is just, um, I'm only going to do a little bit here and here because these stems, I want them to stand out. So I actually want them to be lighter than the leaf behind, hopefully. We'll just see how it comes out. I sometimes have all these plans in my head and it just doesn't always quite come out how you planned. But it's okay. It doesn't always have to be, it might be better. So let your mind um, go where it wants to go and your hand and see what happens. You might end up with something much better than you had envisaged. Envisaged. <laughs> Can't speak. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, I was disorganised, but then I had. I was getting phone calls about the kitchen and having to make decisions about things there and um, trying to make some members only videos, compilations, so finding old videos and sort of gluing them together to make new videos and some of them were a bit, the colour was a bit off for my lighting so I was trying to just adjust that before I downloaded just to make them look a little bit better and um, I needed photographs for some of them for, of um, the completed page because for some reason I couldn't find one and uh, I was just felt like I was going because earth green 
when you start making a video you put it into your editing software and um, you edit it, do whatever you want with it um, I usually, um, to turn it up the right way, I always film everything upside down and um, then add a photo to the end um, change, decide how long I want that photo to be on screen for and anything like that. If it's a compilation you obviously have to find all the bits and put them together. Sometimes they're in different directories on my computer, different drives. It's all can be a bit confusing. So once you've done all that you then click export and the software will render the video together. I don't know what the right words are but it will glue it all together and export it into a file for you so it's all in one file. That can take a long time. I did a six, six hour video because it was lots of little bits and pieces. Um, it was, took took at least twice that amount of time. So you've put that together and it's exporting. So you're halfway through a job, but you need to do something else to pass the time. So then I was doing making thumbnails for other videos because I've got my new. I've just bought a piece of software actually to make the thumbnails. And um, you may have noticed I've been do, using these um, making thumbnails, um, which are a bit more professional looking. I don't like making thumbnails. I have found it really dull and I came across this piece of software and it had a free trial which is what I did for a month to see how I got on with it. I'm just going back over this and tidying up a bit because it's just trying to blend together those two colours a bit better and um, I played with it and I actually found it really fun. And I'm like, hey, I'm enjoying making thumbnails. This is really good. So I just paid for a year's um, subscription to that software. So that's good fun. And I'll decide after a year whether I want to keep going with it. But I think it's, um, you get lots of features that I don't use. But it seems really good. But uh, my sister was like, I make all my own thumbnails myself. Why do you need to... Uh, use special software and I'm like, well it gets it to exactly the right size because you can choose you can make things for Instagram for Facebook for YouTube whatever you want it makes it all exactly the right size now this could be a surprise this is the tip of each leaf it's going to be slightly pink like that I think these greens just lend themselves nicely to a bit of pink. I think they go really nicely with pink and I just think it lifts the whole leaf to have just that touch on the end. So yeah, I was making thumbnails, making videos, um, thinking about videos I needed to make, um, chatting to a couple of different people and I kept getting phone calls about the kitchen. It's like, ah, I'm going crazy. Now, I know what I want. I want to blend that together with a Prismacolor pencil, but I can't. There's a perfect colour in Prismas which would work. Would that work? Hmm. I'm going to try this. I don't know if it'll work. I feel like the pink and the green need to be blended together. I'm going to try the warm grey one and I'm just going to do that bit in there. In fact, I might do the whole leaf with this. It gives that sort of muted green colour, blends it and mixes it and actually puts a, puts a bit of, a bit of pastel sort of look to it I guess. I don't normally have days like that. Normally I'm really organised and efficient and everything goes well and works well so it's really tricky when I have a day like that. And I've got a to-do list as long as my arm but I've still got that to-do list now but got it this morning and I just approached things in a much more methodical way and it was all good. Okay so that needs some glitter. So we have got, I've got three glitters here, stickles. I've only got black diamond, diamond and gold. I say only got, I think they're lovely. Now, I think the gold isn't just isn't going to work. So I was wondering whether to use some of the black on the flowers and some of the diamond on the leaves. 
But see, the leaves have got dots. I thought I might do a few little splodges. And I might do this one all over the flower. I'm going to try it. So I'm going to start with the black, I think. Now, I've got a... Um, a tool that I was using before. The tip has been used for diamond already so I'm going to use it for diamond in a minute and I'm going to do the black first just because it's nearer the top I'm more likely to smudge it. So what I'm going to do is try and put it on the end and just splatter it down. Spread it down. Something's tickling my arm. I was worried then. I thought it was this creepy crawly. But it's actually, I've just realised I'm probably really blurred. I'm sorry. It was actually just a hair that fell on my arm. Let's go a bit closer. So, hang on. I'll zoom out a bit or else it's going to be so blurred. It'll make you feel funny. Sorry, I'm not talking, I'm concentrating. Apparently it's hard work putting glitter onto a little... <laughs> I don't know why I have to concentrate so hard. Right, before I get any more, I'm going to smooth out this one and put the excess onto this one. I've just put some where I don't want it. So, the key is that if you get some where you don't want it, you can scoop it up with a clean bit before... That's it before it dries, just push it, I'm just going to push it in. And I'm just going to try and look in the light to see where I've missed. Oh, I really can't see, I'm going to have to lift the book. Yeah, I've missed quite a few areas, we'll put a bit more on. Now I've never had to oh, shake up the stickles, they all seem to just work. Okay, I don't know whether that's a thing or whether once they start running out of it, if I'll need to shake them a bit more, I don't know. There we go. I'm going to make that do on there. So you have sparkly flowers. And then on this end, other this other end, I'm going to use the diamond. And try not to. I'm just going to put it down for a minute. I take the lid off this one. This is diamond. And I'm not going to use so much of this as much as I might be tempted to. So I'm going to put a little bit on the tip again. Like that. But I'm just going to do it on these dots. Now I'm going to tip it and see if it's even. Yeah, now I don't know how well, I think I have to tip it quite a bit for you to be able to see. The light isn't in the best place. There is our shiny flower that's come in. I don't know if that helps you see it better or not. It's very tricky with the light in here today. Um, but anyway, there is our flower. So initially it can look a little dull from the in what I can see in the screen, but when you tip it and look at the glitter, it looks all shiny and nice. It's a really interesting way to just make a, make something look a little bit more fun. Now tomorrow's picture you will be seeing. Now for those of you who don't like spiders, I'm really sorry you've been seeing this all the time. Let's cover them up for you. Um, I don't mind spiders. Um, I'm going to try and make him look really friendly and colourful, so if you're scared, try and come back. But if it's going to make you feel all creepy, crawly and nasty, um, don't. And uh, and just just go and look at one of my older videos instead. I've got loads, so uh, if you if you feel you want something, so don't 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 come and watch that one. But for now, I'm going to say I hope you have a really lovely day. Um, have fun, chill, relax, and happy colouring. <laughs>